Hello and welcome to the home of SnowRunner News. I'm UK Gamer 8 and I keep you updated with the latest news for SnowRunner. So yesterday we had the release on the PTS for the Season 7 Compete and Conquer, but it's still not working. They're trying to resolve the issues. The, the issue is with Epic and as soon as that's ready I will let you know and we'll be on it. So far I can only get hold of the two vehicles I haven't managed to get onto the map. A few others have got on the map but haven't managed to do that yet. So we had patch notes come yesterday as well for PTS version 17.0. Now the PTS for those who don't know is a public test server and is only available on Epic on PC. If you want to go and test a new phase and report any bugs you can do so. So basically they're saying the first thing of is the new region. Now it looks like there's only one map in this region at the moment. I've got a, a bit from Map Runner to show you actually after this. And then we've got the two new trucks, which is the Gore by 4, which is the one in the video now, and then the Azar 43191 Sprinter. I've done a couple of videos on those, doing a little showcase of what you get and what have you. And they're not too bad. And then we move on to changes. They supported mod dependency on mod IO. And he said, for example, this requires certain mod trucks. For the mod creator can now set these dependencies as a game client would subscribe and download. So basically any maps what have certain vehicles, they will download them automatically. And then added the ability to set up repairable garage on mob maps. So that would be cool. Now the next one is a big one which is crossplay with mods is now supported. So when the season seven comes out, they're saying that it will have crossplay supported. And then there's various bug fixes. There's a bug fix for, I'm not gonna read them all out basically, but I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and have a look at that. So that is the PTS. So currently we're still waiting on a bug fix. Hopefully that'll be sorted in the next, well, whatever, it could be a couple of days or so. As soon as it is, we will get on there playing it as there is some co-op missions which you have to do. And looking forward to getting into it, really. it's uh, I wasn't too keen on the vehicles to the start, but I've been driving around for the last, what, day, really. And yeah, I quite like them, actually. They're a nice bit of kit. Good fun. So moving on, the next thing we got is the Land Rover Defender 110, aka the Offender 110. Now the devs sent him a message about that and he had to do some changes, the changes were done yesterday. So that is pending console release as soon as they've finished messing around with it. But as far as I was concerned, it's all ready, unless he send them back and say, you gotta change this now. There was a little bit of branding what he missed on there and they picked that up so we had to change that and that should it might even be out today or in the next couple of days we were surprised to get an email so quick as it only came out on sunday so that's currently only available for pc and if you haven't had a, if you are on pc go and have a look at it because it's amazing it's probably the best work so far it really is so looking forward to getting that on console and see what the ram requirement is hopefully it won't be too much but we will soon find out now we have a spoiler for the new map, which is called Burning Mill for Tennessee. Now they've got it on Map Runner at the moment, and you can see right in the middle there we've got the garage with the trailer store. It looks like there's the main track around there. There seems to be quite a lot of water on there as well. It's always nice to have these rivers. Let's hope they got a decent current because uh, can't wait to see it really. And then you've got one of the upgrades is for the Gore by Four, which is the diff lock just over there, and then we've got a few watchtowers to go and uncover and then there's a service point just there, service hub just at the top and then you go up the top there. And we have a new upgrade location for the Gore by 4 which is the raised lift for it. So that's tucked away there. We're going to find all these as soon as it opens. Now you can see there it looks to be a tunnel as well so we're not sure where that's going to go. And then we move over there's another watchtower on the far side and then we have got the Azov Sprinter. Now that's the sport engine on that. And just below, we have the sport gearbox for the Azov Sprinter. So that's Map Runner. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and see this. And then as soon as we've got all these locations, we'll do a quick video and show you where they are, just in case they're hiding away. So that's it for today. Hopefully the PTS will be up and working as soon as it is. Then we will get on some streaming. I'm currently working, but after work, we can get on some streaming and go and catch up, do a bit of racing what the co-op rating is all about so thanks for watching appreciate your support and i will see you on the next one